The sins of young children and motorcycles are common in the wee hours of the morning as parents send their young ones to seek an education. And yet, in the middle of a busy town, these children's lives are left at the mercy of God. It's on this ground that the First Lady, who is also the Minister for Education, Janet Museveni, wants parents to take more responsibility on the safety of their children. And sometimes you see that in urban centers like Kampara, where there is so much traffic, there is so many border borders, there are so many people walking, and border borders are going like that, and the little children are on at the back of the border border. The first lady's concern stems from what she says is the lack of attention paid by the parents to their families. If the border border must take children, they shouldn't really be more than two at, at most. And ideally, there should be an adult with a child. However, the statements may come off as a detachment from reality, especially for low-income earners who may not afford the more sophisticated mode of transport like cars. Yes, the parents may be low-income earners, but they, they care about the lives of their children primarily. Before all other things, they must care about the lives of their children. So if they, they consider this to be too expensive for them, perhaps the family can walk the children to school and back. I can tell you that I used to walk four miles to school and four miles back. The First Lady is also concerned about the early opening of schools, which deprives students and pupils their right to play and refresh from home. Okay. It's supposed to start at 8, 8 o'clock in the morning and end at 5 in the afternoon. The weekends are days for, for children who go to day schools to remain at home for them to also rest. Whereas government did not expressly reveal what the penalty will be if these directives are not adhered to, Janet said parents must realize their responsibilities. If the, if the family decides that the distance perhaps to school and back is too long for the kid, and so they, they try to use the border border, they must also care that that border border must get that kid to school safely. We can't protect the parents from doing what the res their responsibility is. In the last months, government has been closing down schools which do not meet the requirements. But people who open schools just to, to make money, we feel that they, they can damage our children, they, they teach uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, curriculum that is not... Uh, Ugandan curriculum, and, and we get concerned. As government embarks on a mission to close some schools that do not meet the required guidelines of the Ministry of Education, there are concerns that there are a lot of government schools that could be in similar or worse situations, and that government is paying a deaf ear. I, I agree that there are some schools which are, are new schools, and yet they are dilapidated indeed. But we correct that also. We are trying to make sure that we don't continue in the business of building bad schools. Sharon Rochere, NTV, State House, Nakasero.